The quarterback. It is one of the most important positions in all of football. It brings about a lot of expectations and a lot of pressure on anybody that takes that quarterback one role. In today's video, I will be talking about some quarterbacks from the 2021 college football season that will be looking to bounce back from 2021 and to really show people what they're all about yet again in 2022. Before I move on with the video, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's get into it. When talking about a video like this, the first quarterback you may be thinking of, of a quarterback that fits this criteria, is none other than Spencer Rattler. As in 2021, Spencer Rattler probably had the most expectations out of any college football player heading into the 2021 campaign, as he was expected to be the Heisman winner. He was expected to bring Oklahoma to the playoffs, potentially win their first ever playoff game, and many people thought he was going to be the number one pick in the 2022 NFL Draft. And to keep it short, Spencer Rattler didn't really meet expectations in 2021 at all. If you look at his stats, his stats really aren't that bad. They're not anywhere near where people expected them to be, but if you just look at them as stats, they're not that bad, as he did complete 75% of his passes, throw for 1,483 yards, 11 touchdown passes, 5 interceptions, and a total of 3 rushing touchdowns. Overall, those aren't bad numbers but he was expected to be something way bigger, and Oklahoma really wasn't winning games convincingly, and their offense even struggled in some games, and after a performance versus Texas that was not very good at all, he got benched during the game, and Caleb Williams took off, and Caleb Williams never gave the job up to Spencer Rattler. After finishing the rest of the season as a backup quarterback at Oklahoma, Spencer Rattler would end up entering the transfer portal and end up transferring to South Carolina. After coming off a 2021 campaign, in which it didn't really go Rattler's way, you can guarantee on Spencer Rattler bouncing back from his 21 campaign. I think he's going to be well as the quarterback one at South Carolina. And know what? This may be exactly what Spencer Rattler needs. A change of scenery and expectations that aren't just through the roof. He still has high expectations because he's Spencer Rattler. And he's the most highly touted quarterback to walk through South Carolina's doors as of recent. And I feel like he's going to bounce back in 2022. On to the next quarterback, we have Keaton Slovis. Now, Keaton Slovis broke out onto the college football scene in 2019 for USC as he completed 72% of his passes, threw for over 3,500 yards, 30 touchdown passes through the air, and 9 interceptions. He followed that up with a good 2020 campaign in a very shortened season, and he was expected to make the biggest jump in his game from 2020 to 2021, and people saw him as a top quarterback and a potential Heisman dark horse. However, that would not be the case, as Keaton Slovis struggled the most in year three as the starting quarterback at USC, as in 2021, in nine games played, he completed 65% of his passes, threw for 2,153 yards, 11 touchdowns, and eight interceptions. He did not look as good as he did in the previous two seasons, and he even got to the point where he wasn't really the full-time starting quarterback, and he was splitting time with Jackson Dart. When season end was approaching, it was kind of clear that that was going to be Keaton Slovis' last season as the quarterback at USC, and he would expectedly enter the transfer portal, and he's now at Pittsburgh. Now that he is at Pitt, Keaton Slovis is hoping to regain his form that we once saw at USC, and with this new change of scenery, which I believe is for the better of him, just like it is for Spencer Rattler, that now with this new opportunity, he will be able to go back to his old ways and potentially prove everyone wrong once again. This next quarterback should come as no surprise, as it is Clemson quarterback DJ Uwe Ungale, as in 2021, he struggled quite a bit, especially with some of the expectations he had heading in. He was expected to bring Clemson to another playoff, and he was expected to be one of the top quarterbacks in football and a potential Heisman finalist. In 2021, he struggled immensely. He was maybe one of the most disappointing quarterbacks, to keep it bluntly, as he completed 56% of his passes, threw for 2,246 yards, 9 touchdown passes through the air, 
10 interceptions, and 4 total rushing touchdowns. Going into 2022, it has to be a season for DJ to actually bounce back from 2021. I think he's going to be a better quarterback, and it seems like he's actually getting doubted a lot right now by some college football fans, as it seems there's a good group of people out there that believe DJ isn't going to be the starting quarterback the entire season. A lot of people have already written off DJ going into 2022, and they believe that K. Klubnik's eventually going to be the starting quarterback in the season. Do y'all think that DJ's going to get benched sometime in the season, or do you think DJ's going to prove everyone wrong in 2022? Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. With this next quarterback, he didn't exactly have as much struggles as some of the other people did in this video in 2021, but I wouldn't say he necessarily got off without any struggles at all by any stretch of the imagination. This quarterback is Jaden Daniels from Arizona State. Now, Jaden Daniels, he broke out on the scene as a true freshman starting quarterback in 2019, in which he had a really good season. In a shortened 2020 campaign, he showed that he would still be a consistent quarterback, and going into 2021, he was expected to make the biggest leap in his game and have a huge breakout season for the Sun Devils. But that wasn't exactly the case. His rushing numbers were good on the year as he rushed for 710 yards, averaging 5 yards per carry, and 6 total touchdowns on the ground. But the pass game was a whole nother story, as it was his worst season as a passing quarterback. Yes, he completed 65% of his passes, and he threw for 2,381 yards, but he threw 10 touchdown passes and a total of 10 interceptions. For someone that is viewed as a top quarterback of college football, this isn't a top quarterback kind of season. He is now going to be with the LSU Tigers in 2022, where he's expected to have his best season yet, like he was in 2021. But this is a little bit different. It's a change of scenery, just like Rattler and just like Slovis. And this could be an opportunity for Jaden Daniels to really break out and show people what he's about at LSU. As Arizona State, they had a lot of things going on within their program that doesn't exactly mesh well for the success of the team in the season. Could this finally be the year that we see Jaden Daniels put it all together? On to the next quarterback. It is Wisconsin quarterback Graham Mertz. Now, Graham Mertz was a highly touted prospect coming out of high school, and he showed some flashes for Wisconsin in 2020 as he threw for 1,238 yards, 9 touchdowns, and 5 interceptions while completing 61% of his passes. He had some hype heading into 2021, not to exactly be a Heisman-level quarterback, but to potentially push Wisconsin over the edge. As Wisconsin, they had a good defense, a good O-line, and some solid weapons for Mertz to utilize. Instead of progressing as a starting quarterback, it seemed like Mertz regressed in 2021. As in 13 games played, he completed 59% of his passes, threw for 1,958 yards, 10 touchdowns, and 11 interceptions. If he has another season like this, his job as the starting quarterback at Wisconsin could potentially be in jeopardy. On to the final quarterback that I have in today's video. It is Washington quarterback Dylan Morris. Dylan Morris is coming off a 2021 campaign in which he not only struggled in a good amount of games, but so did the team. In 11 games played for the Huskies, he completed about 61% of his passes, threw for 2,458 yards, 14 total touchdown passes through the air, and 12 interceptions. After the shaky season in 21, it was clear that Washington needed to seek out some other quarterbacks, so they brought in transfer quarterback from Indiana, Michael Penix, and they're going to have a quarterback battle going into the fall of 22, and it's going to be interesting to see who comes out on top, and could Morris potentially take the job from Penix and show people what he's truly about in 2022? Well guys, if you made it this far in the video, drop something down in the comment section below. How do you think all these quarterbacks are going to fare in 2022? And before you head out, remember to smash that like button, turn on those post notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already. B. Kelly, out.